The equipment you will need to perform reproducible jointing of acatherm electrofusion includes a pipe cutter, a scraper, a tape measure and pencil, a paper towel and an electrofusion unit with the appropriate leads. Make sure the pipe is cut clean and square. A wheel cutter is best for this job. However, as an alternative a carpenter saw could be used, but this would create swarf, which can enter the system. A saw is often used on larger diameter pipes. Push the fitting fully home onto the pipe and mark 10mm from the end of the fitting. Scrape the outer surface of the pipe up to and including the mark. Make sure that all the swarf produced is removed. Mark the full insertion depth of the fitting onto the pipe as a safeguard for full insertion. Ensure the joint surfaces are clean and free from moisture. Then clean all the surfaces both on the pipe and the fitting thoroughly using a lint free cloth or paper towel. Now push both pipes fully home into the fitting. Make sure the pipes are pushed in as straight as possible. Turn the Acatherm electrofusion unit on. Follow the on screen instructions to connect the output leads. Depending on the pipe size, different output leads must be used. For sizes between 40 and 160mm, use yellow leads. For bigger pipe sizes, use the blue output leads. Connect the output leads to the fitting. Now start the electrofusion unit by pressing the green button. The device will display the welding time. Welding time depends on the pipe size used. The two indicator pins will spring out to indicate that the heating time has ended. After a set cooling time the product is ready to use. Consult your Acatherm technical information for full details.